Today we're going to look at assignments in Canvas and using Google Docs to build those assignments. And specifically in this video, we're looking at creating the Google Doc. So here we are inside of Chrome and we want to get to a new Google Doc. Lots of ways you can do this. Uh, one way is just to go here to your apps, get them to come up, go to your Google Drive, once Google Drive loads, you would go to New Doc, so New, and a new Doc, and there I have a new document that's created. Now one of the things you're going to notice here is that there's no folder that pops up. Uh, folder tells you where this document would be located, but it won't come up until I type that first letter or space or character into this document. So I'm going to close this for a moment so it's not in my drive because another way that you can pop up a new Google Doc is just to use the extension Docs Quick Create. I click on that and I can create from with one click a new doc, a new spreadsheet, new presentation, new drawing, new form. So that's a, a great extension for you to have. Okay, again, it creates the new document but there's no folder up here and it will not appear even though the document has loaded until I start typing in something. So there you see the N is typed in and now the folder appears. When I click on this folder, it tells me where this document is. This particular one is in my drive. I can move that to any subfolder that I want simply by clicking on move this item and then going to that folder and putting it in there. So I've started to create the worksheet and uh, haven't given it a name yet so I'm going to go up here into where it says Untitled Doc and you notice when I click on that uh, whatever you have in the first line shows up. If you want that to be your title you just hit enter and that'll keep it as your title. Uh, I don't want name to be the title so I'm just going to change that. Call it Homework. Okay, hit enter, and now it's titled Homework. And what I've started here with is uh, I'm going to put in some vocabulary words for them to define. I think I'll choose three. So I'm gonna, I like to do it with a table. So I'm going to go table, insert table, and I'm going to go three cells in that table because I'm going to give them three vocabulary words. So that's how I'm going to start it out. So you can see that I've added three vocabulary words here and I've put bullet points where they can define them. Uh, I've also added two problems. I used again a table and this time I used a two by two table. Uh, putting the problem in one side and allowing them to put their answer over here. Again they would use the bullet points to explain to me the steps that they're taking uh, to solve each problem and I can include that information in the rubric. Um, as part of their grade. Uh, so this is basically how to create the worksheet and what we're going to look at next is uh, placing that into Canvas and assigning it to the students. One more thing before we leave this document, what I like to do, and, and there's, again there's other ways you can do this, but I just like to go ahead and share it and just make it a shareable link so that anyone in ACS can view it. Then I don't have to worry about student lists. If I, am I missing someone? It just anybody with an ACS email address would have access to this particular sheet, but they're not going to be able to find it unless they have the link. So that's going to be what's inside of Canvas. So now it is shared, a shared document. And so when I send this out to my students, they will all have access to it. 